Good evening, people watching Miss 65, Lisa Boyce. I'm going to give you the Gospels in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ spilled his blood for our past, present, and future sins, was buried and rose again on the third day, according to Scripture. That's how we're saved. That's how we're kept saved. It is grace through faith in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works, least any man should boast. Had someone write me today saying that I need to listen to Ray Comfort. Um, had someone write me comment. I mean, I get the get get this every day. And you know what? I'm cool with that because I'm giving you the truth. And people, it's a perfect example of how complicated people want to make the gospel. The gospel is simple. Christ spilled his blood, shed his blood, spilled his blood. There was a shedding of blood, was buried and rose again on the third day. It's a gift, the gift of grace, something we didn't earn and something we don't deserve. That's how we're saved. How do you get there? You come to the end of yourself and admit you're a sinner in need of a savior is only one. And that's Jesus Christ. People have a problem with repentance. When you accept Christ as savior, you've automatically repented. You changed your mind about how you felt about him and how you feel about sin. At that moment, the Holy Spirit will indwell in you. The Holy Spirit will seal you until the day of redemption, which means you cannot lose your salvation. No one can pluck you out of the hands of the living God. That's how you're saved. The Holy Spirit will lead you. The Holy Spirit will guide you. People feel that you have to do something to help the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is not moved by us. The Holy Spirit is never moved by us. The Holy Spirit doesn't move. The Holy Spirit moves us. We don't move the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit moves us. He changes us. And that's only until you get saved. The Holy Spirit will lead you. The Holy Spirit will guide you. The Holy Spirit will seal you until the day of redemption. He's your best friend. And the Holy Spirit will change you. That's the gospel. People want to make this gospel complicated. And I notice more and more people are coming out more and more about this. I've had people write me and, you know, I'm used to it. I'm used to it. But the gospel is simple. The gospel is very simple. We are saved by grace through faith in Christ alone. Sorry about that. I got to give you this article, and this is important. This is bad. Russia led bloc approves peacekeeping. Deployment in Kazakhstan. There's a lot of stuff going on over there. Um, but Russia is going to lead the peacekeeping force that will be deployed. Now, what's going on over there? This is Southeast Asia or somewhere near the Asian border. So, um, Protesters storm presidential residence and mayor office in Kazakhstan's largest city and setting both of them on fire. The protesters storm the presidential residence and the mayor's office Wednesday and set both on fire, according to the news reports. As demonstrations spark by a rise in fuel prices, escalated sharply in the Central Asian nation. Now, it's been reported, CBN News uh, reported that the police immediately fired on protesters at the residence of Almany before fleeing. They have clashed repeatedly with demonstrations in uh, recent days, deploying water canyons and in the freezing weather and, fear and firing tear gas and concussion grenades. 
The Interior Minister uh, Ministry said eight police officers and National Guards were killed in the unrest and more than 300 were injured. Now, Russia just got the approval. I guess they're sending someone over, they're sending a group over from Russia because this sits not too far. If you look at the map, it sits not too far from Russia. So, the president vowed to take harsh measures to quell the unrest and declared a two-week state of emergency for the whole country expanding, one that has been announced for both the capital and the largest city of Albany that imposed an overnight curfew and restricted movement into and around the urban areas. The government uh, resigned in response over the unrest. And the news sites became inaccessible late in the day and global watchdog organization NetBlock said the country was experiencing a pervasive internet blackout. The Russian news agency TASS reported that internet access was restored earlier, but the unrest remains. This is bad. I want to see... <sighs> Russia is going over there. Now this says right here. Where is it? I got it right here. That Russia-led uh, bloc approves peacekeeping deployment in, Ka in Kazakhstan. So a peacekeeping force will be deployed over there to stabilize the situation because they're calling for help help on every level. So this is bad. I'm going to link. Now this is off of RT. I got that off of RT. The other one I got off of CBN. So I'm going to link both of these in the description box. Um, like I said a few minutes ago, it's time to get saved for real. Um, there's no other way except by believing in the gospel in what Christ did at the cross for our sins, past, present, and future. And when you believe, when you accept Christ as Savior, you're saved, period. And the Holy Spirit will lead you and guide you into righteousness. That's what happens. Folks, I've been doing this for... I've been in Pentecostal movement. I told you this a few days ago or yesterday. I was in the Pentecostal movement for 28 years. I got out of the Pentecostal movement through the help of, through the grace of God. Because it was teaching works. Couldn't tell me about grace, couldn't tell me about anything. And through the help of Robert Breaker and watching him, I learned how simple the gospel really was. I learned dispensations. I, I mentioned, like I said, I mentioned this yesterday. I learned dispensations and everything became, <laughs> everything became clear at that point. He has outstanding videos on this. I suggest you do read about dispensations. I suggest you look at some of his videos about grace and so forth. They're excellent. Um, I will link both of these in the description box. I'm watching this and I'm going to see what's going to happen. But I will link this in the description box. And um, Anything else comes up, I'll let you know. Thank you.